Hey guys, it's Ruth the Lucario here. And today, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on, or at least some information, on how to create a successful operating system. Now, operating systems have been around for a very long time since the starting of computers. Alright, there are a bunch I I'd first recommend you learn how to code. You can go to college and do that. Or you can look up some tutorials online on how to Yeah, there are many coding softwares. All right, those could be useful if you're trying Well, first it needs code to run and exist. So yeah, you might want to, your best bet is to take college classes and keep taking them and, until you learn how to create an operating system. Alright, and then get your coding software. Coding and, coding, uh, Coding an operating system isn't that, or even making one isn't as easy as you think. You can use some of the stock coding software like Notepad or Command Prompt to do it. Or you can get a custom one sold by companies on the internet. Alright. Now, what do you do once you've co coded your software? First, you need, then you need to find out what computer hardware is compatible with your operating system. Install it on multiple computers until you find the, the one until you find the hardware it runs on. That would be my tip. But if you think it works on only one computer, you're free to try it. I don't recommend it. I recommend you try it on... I recommend you buy multiple computers and... and try it on there to see un until you find you could tear apart and then tear apart that computer and find the hardware it's compatible with or you can use some sort of program that could be compatible with the code that that you that you are I guess that that your computer is acceptable with all right. Once you found out the hardware requirements, it's it's time to do the des the designs. You've already coded the the features for it, hopefully, and encoded ways to get internet. Coded the internet options where you can choose routers and stuff. Now you need, you already know the hardware requirements, now you need to, de to design the interface and the login screen, and which you've already coded. Just because you code something doesn't mean you can see it. You need to to make a design for it. Here, see, here's, I know I edited my Windows 10's wallpaper, but you might want to give that feature to other users because they might not like the stock wallpaper you provided. But that's up to you. 
All right. You should know what each button does on on an operating system. You know, try out some different operating systems if you don't know. Because operating because that could that could lead to some inspiration and some computer skills. I mean, different software has different code. Alright, so once you figured out the design and stuff, it's time to give your operating system a name. Alright, but first, make sure you haven't copied code from, uh, from other operating systems. The legal system does... One of the rules in the legal system is don't copy other people's work. Alright, you want to make sure your code is, is something that's never been that is from your own operating system which code that has not been used before make sure it's also easy to use a lot of people especially today really don't know much about computers so keep that in mind keep it as easy to use as possible also don't make sh make sure it it's possible for people to enjoy your operating system many people don't like windows 10 because of the data collecting that has that goes on in it. All right. So don't try and collect other people's data like Windows 10 does. I mean, Then, once you've corrected all coding and feature areas, and all er error in the coding and features, it's and made sure you haven't copied anybody else's, it's time to give each feature a name. Ones that that don't distract from its whole purpose and names that haven't been already taken from other operating systems like Windows for example uses the run bar you could you could make a name So yeah, once you once you've made sure its ease of its ease of access features have have been corrected and stuff, it's time it's basically time to give each feature a name. Like Like Windows 10 gave gave this tool the one you're seeing on the screen. No, not the recording software, but the other tool on the screen that's open is called Notepad. Great for coding. However, I wouldn't use the Notepad in your operating system because if you're going to sell it. 
you need to make up your own. You could use Notepad to plan your code, but n not help you run it. That's another thing that people worry about is legit code. Right, reverting back to a previous step, do not copy code from other operating systems. All right. Once you gave the security features the name and already tested them and made the edits to add features and stuff, it's time to move on to the next step. Test it again and and make sure the features work on different computers because different computers have hardware that that is compatible with different types of coding so So once you retested it, it's time to give it a name. This might take an operating coding an operating system and making an operating system takes a few years if you if you're really that good at coding. But for other people who don't know code such as myself, it would be better to go to college and keep taking college classes on coding operate encoding your own operating system until or just coding in, in general until you know how to code an operating system me I'm not that good at coding I've never been I never knew how to code anything at all it's been a little advanced for me but I'll be sure to take classes on coding when I get to college but but for now I'm not that great at coding. Alright, once you gave your operating system a name, try testing it again. See if it still works. See if you still have any problems. And, and every operating system is going to come with a few bugs. Then it's time to code. Then once you sell you sold your first version once you've made your first version and made sure it's easy to use it's time to move on to the next step once you go out and sell it and you know try advertising get the word out and have customers try it for themselves then then you might need to then once it's already sold try coding some useful updates a lot of people don't think updates are a big deal well the importance of support is is to make sure things like malwares and breakdowns and unexpected breakdowns don't happen on the computer you know if if you don't update a system you're you might be vulnerable to ransomware malware and stuff like that so you might need to de update it once in a while about every few months at least I'd say next is once you've made enough money build a technical support team if you're that desperate because a technical support team will 
qualified technicians who know how to use your operating system can help a bunch of your customers with with problems such as blue screen of deaths um, security questions and stuff like that the, the demand of customers is always a great a great place because you do gotta take in you gotta do realize no matter how ease of access your operating systems are customers expect different performance from different types from different computers all right but if it's for phones same concepts but but you have to make your own phone and there's extra steps to that I mean you could get other companies to do um endorse your operating system on a phone if it's successful enough but And you might want to sell it to, you might want to sell your operating system to other companies if it's, if you think it's successful enough. So other, which you might need, which reverting back to making the code, you might want to code different languages for different keyboard layouts. Um, Right, not everyone's gonna understand German or English or or Spanish. I mean, not everyone's born in the same country that speaks the same language. That speaks only one language. So yeah. Again, that's ease of access part of the code. All right. Once you've made enough money, keep saving money to support your operating system and keep custom and to keep customers happy. If you coded one, you might need to code a better one if you think that's going to make you more money. And just keep following the steps I'm sure there's more to it than what I said but this is just a quick tutorial on this is just a quick information guide on what you might on what you need to do before actually selling an operating system could use like I said before you could code stuff with different types of coding software from the internet or or plan it out with Windows or Mac software or Chromebook software whatever whatever I do think Mac and code and 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 Chromebook do Do share a contract saying they can use some of the coding for for it. I'm not quite sure, but that's just my opinion. Could for for the interface and the design, you you don't use Microsoft Paint. Because that's embedded into Microsoft number one. And number two, Microsoft Paint is was not a very good program to use when it comes to advanced to advanced images and designs. 
all right it was it wasn't really geared towards advanced users in the first place could use Adobe could buy a membership to Adobe Photoshop or use the trial you could buy a license for Adobe Photoshop or or use a trial or you could use another picture editing software but don't use Microsoft Paint or and try not to steal code because I do agree with the jurisdiction on on this point I do agree with the jury on this law that you shouldn't be going around stealing other people's ideas it's kind of a mean thing to do and you can get yourself arrested and I don't want any one so I'm saying this so I don't want anyone complaining to me or another or family member complaining to me that so and so got arrested because so and so used used the code used the used some made some put something in their operating system that without from another operating system without their permission all right so don't steal code don't steal applications built in other operating systems you you can try to get third party companies to accept support for your operating system to support their products for their operating system but then they'll have to update it and it might take a, a couple days or months or years depending on how new your operating system is All right, take my advice and try doing any and, and try doing other necessary steps. If you've already been to college and know how to code, then you pop and know how to code an operating system, then and you're just here to check and you're just here to make sure you did it right. Well, then you can watch this video and probably continue to code a new operating system but if you're but this one was mostly done for those who never made an operating system all right the code needs to be valid though in order to run an operating system if you know, if a com if a computer can't run without a valid operate without valid code, so you need to keep that in mind. Different computers will allow different types of code. Uh, I'm I think I'm not quite sure, but I think you get the idea. If you don't. Leave a question in the comments below and I'll do some research on that question. Yeah. Just be careful when you're coding an operating system because once you install it, it's hard to it might be hard to install a Windows based operating system on an operating system that might not even support a fresh install of Windows. Before I end it, I just wanted to look up a quick definition of, I just wanted to show you guys a quick, brief definition of what a, of what code on a, on, on a code is.
Google. Google is trying to be defiant, just says Code, short for source code, is a term to describe text that is written using the protocol of a particular language by a computer programmer. Code can be used in a less formal fashion to, reform, to refer to a text, not reform, written for markup or styling languages like HTML and CSS, cascading style sheets. So yeah, it's basically some it's basically something that makes that makes a feature run or do something when you click on it well left people mostly left click on things because right click just just adds like run as an administrator Also, if you're going to start a computer company, never let your employees go around running in ad with administrators with ad as an administrator because it could cause some problems. Make make a user account with a strong password on your employees' PCs and make sure to do your research on latest malwares viruses and and other dangerous software that hackers can use to to hack into people's PCs and steal data such as credit card ID info or Social security numbers, stuff like that. Make sure you do that when you're before you code the security features because you don't want users complaining to you that you've got infected because you have poor security on your operating system. All right, do do a little bit of research, watch some YouTube videos, do some. Take some classes in internet safety, and I shall see you guys coming up next in the in the let's in the continuation of my let's play of Need for Speed Pro Street, or another video if you guys request it. But anyways, see you later. Bye.